All right, guys, welcome back. Today, we're going to be showing you how to do a complete tune up on your vehicle. I'm talking about coils and spark plugs. Okay, now it may look a little bit scary, but I promise you it's not. If you follow me every step of the way, it's going to be very, very easy. All right, just take your time and uh, use my video, pause when you need to. I'm going to do my best to record the easy parts and the hard parts. All right, so just go ahead and uh, stay tuned. We're going to replace the spark plugs and coils on both sides all right here we go this specific vehicle that we have right here is a 2012 dodge charger with a 3.6 liter engine now this fix also applies to any dodge chrysler g product so it could be a chrysler what 300 with the v6 it could be a dodge charger it could be a uh, jeep liberty or whatever you know Chrysler 200 Limited, it doesn't matter. As long as it has the 3.6 engine from uh, Dodge, you should be able to use the same procedure to make this happen, okay? So stay tuned, here we go. Step number one, disconnect the battery. 10 millimeter socket and ratchet, loosen it up real quick. All right, once your ground is off, be sure to get something to cover right here you don't want your trunk closing and then you're not going to be able to get to the back unless you claw through the seats you know so uh here we go all right guys the step number one we're gonna have to remove the um air intake assembly right here so we need to loosen up this clamp number one right here get a flathead screwdriver and loosen this up and another one right here with the throttle body all right so once you loosen that up you should be able to pull this one out of there and then pull this one out of here be sure to unplug uh, any of the sensors that are around here i will show you right now okay this is the air assembly there's a sensor right here you're just gonna push on this tab and then pull it back just like that okay now you're free to remove it so put it somewhere safe where you won't lose it and it won't get damaged. Now we have exposed. Hey, we're practically there, right? <laughs> All right, now would be a good time if you have any air compressor tool or anything like that to blow any dirt or any debris that you see around here to prevent anything from getting in there. And uh, we can go ahead and cover that throttle body up as well. We can probably put a small rag or paper towel or something, shop rag. All right, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna blow some compressed air and clean this up real quick as best as we can so we can move forward, all right? Stay tuned. All right, guys, sorry if the rain is too loud, but here we go. Our next step is to go around the entire intake manifold and make sure that there's nothing attached to it. For example, things like this. All right, we need to make sure that this, gets, that this clip gets taken off of here, just like that all right there we go it just clips on so you just pull that out and then we go around the manifold to make sure that there's nothing stuck to it okay so let's see these wires for the throttle body are going to have to come off so make sure that there's a little clip right there pull that tab pull this get it from here all right now same thing here just like that, disconnect the sensor and move this wire out of the way. All right, so you can see how it's all starting to come out. The vacuum hose is right here. Pull and move the hose right here. I'm gonna have to do the same thing. Um, yeah, so as we can wiggle, you may have to get some pliers or something and move it around and pull it back. Now we have that next one in the back. Gonna have to undo that clamp and pull it out of there. And it looks like that's about it. That's holding it in place. So I'm gonna remove those and uh, we'll move forward. Here we go. Okay, to remove hose clamps the easy way, you're probably gonna need a, a, a tool set like this. Now this, uh, I think it was under $100 on Amazon. You need this one right here. This is like a clamp compression tool. You don't have to buy it, but it just makes it a lot easier. We work on cars a lot, so we use this, okay? Um, this is what I'm using. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on there and show you right now. This is how it works. You clamp it, 
and then it tightens it up and it removes that clamp for you just like that all right that's how we're removing the back one all right ladies and gentlemen once you have removed everything from around the intake manifold you will need to remove seven of these screws one two three four i'm gonna see yeah so here we go i'm gonna count it one two three four five six and there's a seventh one right there all right now this takes an eight millimeter i am using my very thin quarter inch ratchet and extension in that long socket so i can get to them with ease we're gonna loosen all those up and then the manifolds should be ready to come out okay here we go all right now with the screws loose this should just be free and ready to go so let's hope there's nothing else holding it in place and we're gonna pick this up and move out of the way there must be a sensor or something connected nope and just like that guys check it out that's how you remove the intake manifold okay let me put it upside down here somewhere we're gonna get this cleaned up real well and uh let me see now we have exposed our engine right here now with the manifold exposed we can get to all six of these coils and plugs which is going to make the job super easy be careful to go uh not to drop anything in here so put some rags or something to cover it so you don't drop a bolt or something in there by accident you know uh this comes off so make sure you get this out of the way and we're going to clean it up real good uh, there we go like this make sure you put it back on when you put it back on okay so here we go guys that's how you do that okay so for the spark plugs now we just got to remove these right here I'll unplug these uh, coils so let's do that on all six all right unplug the coils and then we're gonna loosen up this 10 millimeter on all six of them all right here we go once you have those uh, bolts loose all you got to do is lift up on this okay and it's gonna slide right out and you can swap the coil out but now you have exposed the spark plug which is down there we're gonna stick a uh, spark plug socket in and get it out all right and the same procedure will apply to the rest of them. So here we go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, using your spark plug socket, make sure you get in here and you loosen up the spark plugs. All right, once they're all the way out, if your spark plug comes with a magnet or a little rubber boot, you may be able to pull it out that way, but I have a little handy dandy magnet tool. I'm gonna slide in here and then pull the plug out just like that, okay? Now repeat the procedure with the rest of them, all right? Once you put your spark plug in, you're free and clear to put your coil back in. Oh, if you want to put anti-seize on your spark plugs, you're more than welcome to. I'm just doing this for the video purposes. I put anti-seize on the other ones. All right. So you can go ahead and make sure that it catches on there and get it screwed in and repeat the procedure with the rest ones, okay? Plug it back in and let's roll. Here we go. All right, guys, so once that's clean, it's time to, like I said earlier, remove the gaskets, the old ones, and it's time to put the new gaskets in. All right, make sure that they fit in nice and snug, okay, that it doesn't get stuck or anything like that. So, yeah. Now, repeat the same procedure with all of them real quick, and let's move forward. Once your gaskets are installed nice and snug, it's time to make sure that you clean the mating surfaces on the uh, intake manifold which we've already done so right here. We've done our, the best we can. So we're gonna go ahead and flip this over and put it back on top, all right? So go ahead and stay tuned. Here we go. Don't forget this. Put your heat shield back where you got it from, all right? Because that protects your wiring and everything. And now you can put this back and make sure everything's out of the way. Line up the bolts down here. And you have your guide the rest should just go ahead and fall into place all right you may have to adjust it a little bit but it's pretty straightforward so once it's done it's time to tighten it up and send her home plug everything back in all right guys once everything is tightened up please be sure to put back your sensors your vacuum hoses the hose in the back everything because that's gonna make a big difference all right you don't want to forget any of that stuff so make sure you take it slow and go step at a time and double check everything all right now it's time to install the last part right there which is the remaining um remaining part right the air intake 
We're gonna go ahead and stick this side in first. So let's slide it in just like that. Oh, also we gotta remember that this this had a sensor in there, and that's that's that wire that's loose right there. Okay, so just make sure you plug that in. And then this end right here, of course, it just slides in just like that. And then you're almost done. All right, here we go. Well, guys, with that being said, that is exactly how you replace the uh, spark plugs and coils and do a tune-up on your Dodge Charger, Chrysler 300, Dodge Journey, whatever else you got. As long as it's got the 3.6 liter V6 engine, you should be able to do it the same way I did. All right, that's it for today on the spark plugs and coils. Hope you follow this. I'm sorry, hope you like this video. Subscribe to our channel to keep these videos coming and we'll be more than happy to help you out.